Thank you. I'm Katie and this is John. Hey John, you know what's better than a three day week? No, what? The Packers playing the Vikings this Sunday. Correction, the Packers kicking the Vikings butt. Ha! What a joke. Have you seen the chemistry between Moss and Favre? Sorry, can't ha say I have, but I have seen Favre throw to the other team. <laughs> wow, you are so clever. Not. I'm so mad right now. Then let's get to some announcements. The Scholastic Book Fair is returning during the week of Monday, October 25th to the 28th. The book fair will be open during parent-teacher conferences in the Media Center. Detentions can be made up before school Monday through Friday in the Career Center or after school Monday or Thursday. All quarter one detentions must be made up be by November 7th or students will be assigned to in-school suspension. Lifeguard and swim instruction training will be offered during the break Thursday and Friday and Saturday, October 21st to the 23rd at Black Hawk Middle School. Please help us support the choir program in their trip to New York City by buying a Happening Coupon book. You can purchase a Happenings book by calling the main office or the choir office. Thank you. We will have our annual preseason boys basketball October 18th at 7 p.m. See Coach Gerber with any questions. There will be a girls hockey pre tryout player meeting tomorrow at 7. There will be a boys swimmer and diver team meeting tomorrow after school. Please see Coach Tolleston if you cannot attend. Congratulations to the men's varsity cross country team for their third place finish at the inaugural South Suburban Cross Country Championships last Friday. Friday was a personal record setting day for most of the East U girls cross country runners. The varsity team placed sixth overall at the South Suburban Conference meet. Congratulations to the girls swim and dive team who placed second at the true so team sections on Saturday. Their performance qualified them for the true team state meet to be held later this week. Congratulations. An informational meeting for Knowledgeable and Quizable will be held Tuesday, October 26th after school. See Mr. Kelly if you have any questions. If you're interested in joining the Literary Arts Magazine staff, there will be an informational meeting tomorrow after school. If you're unable to come, please contact Mr. Curry. If you would like to come with Eastview to a ski and snowboard trip out west, come to an informational meeting on Wednesday, October 20th to hear more about Eastview's fifth annual trip. Space is very limited. We'll be holding our first deck informational meeting tomorrow, either before or after school. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Moore. About a little problem, I'll show. Oh, really? <coughs> have you finally cleared all that cheese out of your head? Ha! You really amuse me, but no. What do you say we make this a little interesting? Go on. The loser of the game must anchor on the show next Monday with the winner, wearing the opposite team's jersey. Easy enough. I'm not done where they must sing the winning team's fight, school, fight song to the whole school. Oh, Katie, you do know how to make things interesting. Deal. Well, that's it, Eastview. Go Pack Go! Be sure to watch Monday, where one of us will be performing for you. Skull Vikings! Bye, Eastview!